Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? We are going to create one of our Beehive Trio kits. Um, this is a really, really fun one, and it just got released yesterday. So if you haven't seen it, then it's your lucky day because we're gonna paint it together right now. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that we can, you guys can see what I'm doing and make sure my comments are on. Let me make sure that we are actually streaming. So let me hop over to Facebook and make sure that we're actually streaming. Cause you never know. Let me know if you're here. When you hop on, say hello, we are live. When you hop on, say hello, let me know you're here. I'm gonna show you um, multiple pieces of the Beehive Trio kit. So this is a really fun one. It's gonna be perfect for tiered trays. Um, let me just move the camera and I'll just go ahead and show you. Hi, Cindy, hi, Carolyn. There we go. This is a really cute kit. So each of the pieces that you have is going to have three layers like this. Your top layer is going to be bare. Your bottom layer is gonna be bare. And all of your pieces, good morning, Marilyn. Hi, Teresa, hi, Robin. All of your middle pieces are gonna be where the design is. And we're going to layer them on, okay? So they look amazing from behind. Um, we may need to sand that a little bit. That looks kind of... Oh, well, that's going to be covered. Yeah, we'll use that one. All right. So we have our beehive that we're going to paint. Comes with these. Hi, Pam. Hi, Mary. You just made a bunch of bee stuff. This is going to be the perfect addition to your bee stuff. So we have the beehive. We have a flower. I'm trying to figure out which one I want on the back. And then we have an adorable bee, which is so cute. All right. Um, I'm not quite sure what color I am going to paint our frames yet, but we will figure that out as we go, as, as we paint. We'll just see what we become inspired by. So we're gonna use some white some yellow and I am just using regular yellow from Apple Barrel. We're going to do a little bit of green because we have a leaf here on our beehive and so I thought maybe we can do our frames that match that so that they all kind of go together. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hi Patsy. Hi Charlene. Obviously you need red and black, or I'm sorry, yellow and black for your bees. Ooh, that's a gunky, yucky mess, isn't it? That's gross. Let's just fix that. Oh, it's not even, thought it would pull off in one piece, but it's not quite. That's a yuck, really gunky mess. Okay, there we go. We got most of it off. That was a mess. Yuck. All right, now we can get some paint out. Okay, I think I have all of the colors. Um, you ready? Are you guys ready to paint? This is gonna be a really cute one. Um, honestly, I am thinking, yeah, we're going to go ahead. I'm debating. I'm debating. I'm debating. Let's just paint and we'll see. We'll change stuff as we go along. How's that sound? Let's do all of our pieces first. We'll put all of our frames to the side. We'll put all these to the side. So these pieces are going to be what help it stand up, okay? We'll put those over there to the side. All right, let's do, let's do our beehive first. So when we're doing this centerpiece, we only need to paint the branch, which I need brown. Let me get some chocolate sprinkle. That's a really good brown. 
we're going to need to paint the branch and the leaf. We don't have to paint this part because this is going to be overlaid on it. Okay, so we need to paint this and then we're gonna paint this for the back because these pieces are going to be to where you, let me use, you can see them from behind, okay? So let's go ahead and paint these two yellow. You can use a makeup sponge, you can use whatever, whatever you enjoy painting these pieces with. I use makeup sponges sometimes, not all the time. I just, I don't know, I love paint brushes. And you can see it's getting in some of my lines here. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. You guys know my tool that I love. Aren't these cute? I'm so glad you like them. You never know sometimes when I'm painting stuff. Um, I think stuff's cute, but everybody's style is different. So now we're going to take this, and this is how we're actually going to go through and get all of the paint that may have gone in our beehive lines. We're going to get those out. See how it's kind of bringing it back to life? And I got pink on my hand. I don't want to get that on there. Look at that. How cute is that? You can paint that black. I think I'm going to leave it just like it is, though. I don't think we're going to paint it black. Depending on your yellow or how bright or dull you want your, your yellow beehive to be, you might, you might do a couple coats. I think I like the wood showing through a little bit. And so I think we're going to leave it with just one coat here. I am going to grab a baby wipe. Just so I have them on hand when I need them because I can't wait to paint the bee. Look at these little eyes and his little antennas. That's going to be so cute. Robin, I did just get your text, just FYI. I saw it come through, just have not responded to it, but I will be on the lookout for that, so thank you. <clears throat> so I'm going out of town today, um, but only, I'll be back Thursday. I'm just heading down to Wichita with my husband. You know what, we are gonna do a second coat. I do like it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna head down to Wichita, Kansas with my husband. He's going down there for like a business meeting tomorrow. I will be working on my computer. I have some stuff I'm gonna ship today for those of you that have made me any orders that you're waiting for. But yeah, I'm super excited. Just a nice little getaway for my husband and I. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. This one's just a little bit brighter. Let's go ahead and do this one too. leave tonight have some dinner with his co-workers I will get to hang out tomorrow in a cute well Wichita it's like their downtown area it's really really nice they have some new sorry for the outdoor noise you guys there's people outside doing stuff and my workshop is open so if you hear anything I don't know, it sounds like somebody's vacuum in their car, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I will have tomorrow to catch up on videos, you guys. I have tutorial videos for kits that are in the shop, and I'm so behind on posting them. I did post the cross mandala yesterday, last night, and oh my gosh, it's so cute. Did you guys see it? posted on YouTube, but I did share the video for everybody over here. Okay. These are so cute. These are adorable. All right. Do we have any more yellow? Let's go ahead and paint the yellow that we need for. Let's paint our face yellow.
Yellow is one of those colors where you might have to do a couple different coats. We'll do this yellow. And these are his wings. So these are going to be behind him. This is a really cute set when it all comes together. Hey, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you guys want to see Christmas in July stuff? Or... <clears throat> <clears throat> Are you like, no, nope, let's just go ahead and keep doing summer stuff. I want to know. And this has a tiny bit of yellow right here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera. Tiny yellow right there. So cute, you guys. I stink and love it. Kathy, I can send you the link to change your car as soon as I am off here. That would be perfect. Angel says Christmas in July. Yes. <coughs> okay, since we have our little head here, he's going to be sitting right here. I want that first line to be black. So we're going to paint this line yellow and this line yellow. And then all the others are going to be black. You made the cross and love it? Oh, that makes me so happy. Send a picture. I would love to see the pictures of how you guys did them. I did mine a little bit more. Um, Cindy, are you sending to Beth at the ruffledaisy.org? I did send you your... Um, coupon code for the bingo night. I did send that to you, but maybe you didn't get it. I don't know. Sometimes when I send emails from my shop, it goes to spam. So maybe check spam and um, you can send me a message here on Facebook too. And those are not clean, but we're going to touch it up with the black. Go ahead and clean out our lines on this one too. I apologize if that sound is annoying. Hey, it's done. Do another coat of yellow. You got the cow and you love it. It is so cute. It is so, so cute. You're not a taffy person, but those are delicious. I'm telling you, Miss Nancy does an amazing job on the taffy. That is definitely her wheelhouse. That is her baby, and she does amazing. Love the taffy. Okay, I think we're done with yellow. Let me do one more coat on this one. I can resend it to you, Cindy. That's not an issue at all if you can't find it. Not a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're done with our yellow. When cleaning the lines, you <clears throat> could you go over them with a fine tip marker? Absolutely. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. And even like on this, if you wanted to paint that black, inside there um, that would be that would be perfectly fine with a fine tip marker now right, let's paint our branch that's going to hold our beehive here so i am making <clears throat> a holder that holds all of our um, Thule art pins. So it's a holder that's going to hold all of these. Okay. I'm making a holder. It, <clears throat> I had some cut and this size was just a little bit too small of a hole and so these fine ones wouldn't go in. <clears throat> but let me know. I posted it yesterday and I still got to test the file a little bit more. Um, let me know because I did post it yesterday, 
And if you guys like it, I can definitely put it in the shop. All right, so let's go ahead and do black. Let's clean out our... We're gonna do some black, and actually, no we're not. I'm gonna do his little eyes with a paint pen because that is way too tiny to try to <coughs> try to paint any other way. Can you guys see? Cute, cute, cute. So the top has yellow on it, and it looks kind of the same as this, but it does have yellow on it. You like the holder? It would help. That's what I was thinking. Baking 100 cupcakes. Yum. What flavor, my friend? What flavor cupcakes are you making? Hold on. Let me get my... I use I use the heck out of my white I will get the the holder um, finished up and posted by the end of the week how about that you know I think we should turn this you see how these come out I think it's dirty. Let's clean it up a little bit. Isn't that amazing that those are like that? Almond flavored white and espresso chocolate. Yum! What are you making for? Oh, Cindy, I love you too. I appreciate you being here. I wonder if this is, this can't be almost out. have another one let's try it maybe I just need to put a new brush in it these do come with replacement brushes we're gonna have to try that oh this one's much better Look how his eye is just coming to life. Now these are <clears throat> something that you can put on a piece of like masking tape to help it so you don't have to hold it while you're painting these tiny. This is the only tiny thing on this one though. That is so cute. Look at that. We got his little eyes. That's so adorable. And now we're gonna paint the inside black and then we'll do a little white dot. Graduation, very, very cool. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll put a white dot in his eye. <coughs> Man, I need my drink out of here. Take a drink of my coffee. My cold coffee. Let's paint this white. We'll get a white daisy here. How about that? That'll go perfect for me. You could do a pink flower. You could do whatever color flower you want, I don't honestly. I'm gonna just paint the whole thing and we're gonna go over. Well, we should have done the yellow. You know, it's probably gonna have to take a couple coats. 
good old white. One thing that you don't have to do that with is the um, like chalk paint. It it goes it has pretty good coverage. Had plans of doing bees and sunflowers for the inside decor, but my back had other plans. Oh my goodness, right? Don't you hate it when that happens? They will be there, my friend. I get it, though. You missed if the changeable saying cow was available yet. Not yet. That will probably be added to the shop next week. And oh my gosh, it's adorable. I have a stray fiber here on my... Yeah, the Highland Cow that has the little sign with it is probably going to be available next week. Okay, let's bring this to life a little bit more. Let's do some, just a dab of dark green. Isn't it adorable? I love it. So I used my same brush and we're just making a little bit of dark green on it. So it looks more like a leaf. It's kind of variegated. That's super cute. I don't think we're gonna need that anymore. All right, let's do our pot. Let's do our pot this pretty. I don't necessarily have to do the top part because that's going to go over it, but this is going to be so cute. Oh my goodness, this is going to be adorable. And remember, this is going to have another frame over the front, so just make sure you paint down far enough that it covers your whole pot. And then we need to paint this too. I'm thinking we should add some turquoise or something in here to our frame. That would be really cute. I just don't want it to clash with the green. Turquoise and green can really clash sometimes. Gail, I, yes. <laughs> I should do that, I'm telling you. It would still probably be cold because I get busy and I walk away from my coffee. Yeah. I do love my to-go cups though, like the travel mugs, I do love them. Let's do another layer on our um, white for our and let's let's use our ooh a pretty napkin would look amazing on the pot that's a great idea love that you guys could even make these fourth of july like we did <clears throat> all of our napkins for this month heck i'll just show them to you they're all right here hold on Look at this one. That would be really cute on the pot. This, if you did um, like a uh, 4th of July themed one. Stripes, look at this one. Y'all are getting a, um, a two for one here, getting to see, look at that. Isn't that cute? This would be so cute if I did wooden overlays with all these flowers. I think I am gonna do a yellow center for the daisy, yes. Look at that. And this one, I love the polka dot. It's navy blue, even though it might kind of look black. But that one, um, some of these, they don't have to be just for 4th of July. They're so cute though. These were so cute. You could definitely do a napkin on that piece. And yes, we are going to do a, ye a yellow center for the daisy. I just didn't want to have to be careful about 
it's okay if there's white under the yellow as far as here I mean oops there we go daisies are your favorites well you are in the right place my friend you are in the right place let's do our white dot And that did not work very well, but I think it's good enough. You see the white dot in his eyes? <clears throat> we need to paint these black. These are his little antennas. Let's go ahead and use the paint pen on those too. Actually, we'll just do it on here. It's kind of a big area to be using this tiny paint pen. <coughs> Isn't it adorable? I am glad you guys like it. I really am. I feel like this brush has seen much better days. We need to probably retire that brush. Super, super cute. I think we're gonna retire this brush because that has probably seen better days. I really feel like I need to <coughs> invest in some new brushes. <gasps> Sheila, I had daisies on mine as well. That is awesome. No, I have decorated cakes and you are absolutely right. That was not an easy one to decorate for sure. My um mother-in-law's sister is the one who did okay i think we're done with white for now let's put our paintbrush in the water y'all i got i got water you guys i never have water here um my mother-in-law's sister is the one who did our wedding cake and yeah i can imagine the time it took to do the uh, the daisies on it for sure I'm gonna be really careful here along the edge you could use a paint pen as well we don't need to go all the way up because again his face is going to be covering that not a very straight line but I don't think my brush is very good we're gonna make it do there we go Let's make the top a little bit smoother. We could do the frames black. I think we're going to do like aqua though. I don't know. We'll see. What color do you think we should do the frames? Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. What color do you think we should do the frames? It looks like we need some more on the... Wasn't the best coverage, so we need some more on here. Aqua frames? That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, yellow frames would be pretty. 
Will these be available next week so you can order with the cows? Yes, Susie, they will. Yes, absolutely. Let me get my yellow back out. And again, I also thought about doing the frame the green color like this. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to do a couple coats on this center as well. Isn't that so adorable? That is so cute. I'm thinking black with our signature white. I am going to put some of the signature white. You think black? That might be fun. I really, really am thinking aqua. You know what I can do? I'll paint one of these frames aqua and lay it over each one and see how it looks. And if we don't like it, then we can paint this side. And if it's glued there, you're never gonna know that the back side was painted aqua. So let's try that first. We'll try my favorite aquamarine. Did you see the new kit I just posted, you guys? Hold on, look at this. These are a sneak peek of something that's coming, but I went ahead and posted these in the shop. They're super cute to remind you um, that you are in a community where I help teach you to DIY your entire life. Okay, so these are in the shop now. And check this out, you guys. I did an acrylic overlay. Do you love that? That's a clear acrylic overlay. How cool is that? I'm loving this. These are not in the shop yet, but this is. So you can have it as a daily reminder to always DIY your life every day. You think green? I think green might work too. Well, let's just go ahead and paint two and see how it looks. We'll do that. We'll paint one green and we'll paint one aqua. Works for me. And we'll see which one is cuter. You love the acrylic? I did too. I am actually, oop, there's a little bit of pink on here that we probably will not get covered up with paint. I love, love, love the acrylic. And so we're really trying to perfect it a little bit so that we can bring it to you with some holiday pieces. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a really nice addition to some of our wood kits, I really do. Okay, so look how that would look over that. Oh, now that's cute. That would match in my house perfect, you guys. Let's go ahead and overlay this on here and we'll put this on each one and you guys can help me decide. What do you think? You like it? It doesn't clash with the green too much. It's obviously super cute with that because of the pink. I say we just do it. Yeah, I say we just do it. Yes, I agree, Mary, and that's that's what I'm trying to do. Definitely be unique, have our own style that we have here. Um, there are ladies that do kits very similar to mine and kind of implement some, not with the B1, you don't like it with the B1? We're gonna, I'm gonna go for it. You guys don't have to do this color. It will definitely match my house though. Um, a lot of people are, well, you have a few people that are doing the metal to accent their pieces, which is amazing. And so I was trying to think, what is a good way that I can accent my pieces to make them stand out? And so that's when I started really thinking about the acrylic. 
and I'm really excited that my husband's tried a couple things and then I did that flower last night so that was I love it I love it we got lots of gunk in this aquamarine color here lots of paint boogers That is absolutely right. It's gonna be in my house. That's one of the cool things about these kits is you can make them your own. Let's try a different bottle of aquamarine. <coughs> there we go, that one looks better. This one just had a bunch of, a bunch of gunk in it. No, thank you, Cindy. I am glad that you feel that way about our group here. I think it's pretty amazing too. I really do. Let's do this one a little bit more. There's some wood grain that it's not, there we go. I want all of you guys to feel really welcomed in this community. There are far too many places in this world where we just don't feel welcomed. And I don't want you to ever, 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 ever feel that you are not welcomed here. We are almost ready to glue this all together, you guys. And then we're gonna put some finishing touches on them. with our paint pens. We'll add some embellishments and make them super cute. Just make it over the top amazing. I think we have one more frame to paint and then we'll put it all together. So these are in the shop. Again, you don't have to paint these because those are gonna be overlaid. So I'm thinking with the acrylic, it would be really, really cute. So use this kit for an example. <clears throat> I could do a yellow acrylic piece right there, which would be cute. We could do yellow or er, black acrylic antennas for our, we may have to do a couple more coats on a couple of those. Let's do, oh, I just dipped my yellow brush in my pink paint. I think we're good though. This is so perfect. Let's go ahead and start gluing some of our pieces together. So this is gonna go on top of your little pot there. And what I think would be a really, really cute, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do our signature technique on this pot with white. How cute is that? So cute. It's kind of hard to get in the on the edges because it's so close to this, but it is possible. Looks very distressed now. Um, we could do some black around the beehive maybe. Let's try that. If we don't like it, we'll sand it off. You know what else you could do? You could do some glue that is dripping on the beehive. If you guys were in my subscription box last year, look, that's cute with the black around it. If you were in the subscription box last year, then you know how to do the hot glue dripping. Um, let's see. 
I'm really thinking our branch needs some variation in it. Kind of like our, our leaf. I'm gonna take this warm buff. It's like a light brown. Just give a dab. And I'm gonna use a paintbrush, a tiny paintbrush. <coughs> And I'm going to dip it in that with a little bit of brown, just so we get some variation. So it looks not so bland and dark. See how we have just a little bit of highlighting now in our thing. This is adorable. You could even put a little bow. All right, we're going to let this, well, let's go ahead and put it down, even though it's wet. I think we can manage. Press, press. Let's do our face, a little bee face. Oh, no, I got black on it. We'll, we'll touch it up. Not a big deal. I got black right there. It would be very hard to cover if we didn't sand it off. So we do need to sand it. Let's just use my finger. There we go. Oh, there must be black on my finger because it's everywhere. Yep. There we go. How about instead of finger painting, let's just go back and do it the way we're supposed to. There we go. Super, super cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Happy Tuesday, Debbie. All right, now We're gonna glue these like right here and his eyes are gonna go underneath it, but we're gonna wait because the front of that is wet. I'm gonna pick my three best looking frames and we're gonna go ahead and attach them. Now remember each one has three. Look how cute that is. I think it looks cute with the bee. Little bit of this glue goes a long way, remember. Super cute. These are going to be perfect for your tiered trays. I do need to paint the back of the flower pot, don't I? You are absolutely right. So we already have that, but oh yeah, we need to paint the back. We do. Good golly. I didn't do that very well, did I? I'm all telling you, hey, these are reversible. We need to remember to paint the back and then I wasn't even painting the back. So we don't need to paint the beehive because that's going to go on there. I'm going to set that there. That black around the edge is still pretty wet. So you don't have the etching on the back. Just FYI. We don't have the body either. 
let's just paint it all yellow and we'll go back in and put the black lines. How about that? We'll make it easier. Well, actually, you're not even going to be able to see much of the back of this one. So we'll just do it all yellow because we're going to put our um, wings on it, our bee wings. But that means, oops, that we do need to paint the back of our bee wings yellow. And mine, I probably won't, I mean, they won't be sitting to where you could see the back, but. We will go ahead and paint it so you guys know what it's supposed to look like. Those are so cute. that out and we'll use it again. Again, you don't have to go very far down on this because we're going to put a piece over the back as well. That's what all these extra frames are for. We probably need to paint that flower a little bit more. I had yellow in my brush. That's better. Super cute. Let's go ahead and do our leaf back here. So the back of some of the laser pieces can have some burning. Um, so, but you can sand that down. Like this one has a lot of burning. This is not what they will look like because this one has more burning than it should. Um, but you can definitely sand that down. Let's bring a little bit of the dark green in it again. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our beehive on this one. Look at that. I'm going to probably paint the edges too so they all match. I like to stand these up when I'm doing this so that I know they're flat because it's very, very, very easy to get it to where you think it's level, um, but it's not really. So look at that. That's adorable. Look at how cute that is. And it stands. That's precious. Let's go ahead and paint the sides of this one. And we'll probably have to do a couple coats just because it is darker with the burned wood. definitely do a couple coats on there. We'll set that down. Let's go ahead and glue this one on and then we'll put our bee together. I'm 
Look how adorable that one is. I think these might be my new favorite. I don't really decorate with these, but I think this might be one of my new favorite pieces. Too cute. So, so cute. Oh, Maureen, you're gonna love it. Maureen, your stuff just went out today, my friend. Well, as soon as UPS comes by to pick it up, it'll go out. Okay, let's let that set one that one set and sit and dry. See how we are gonna have to do a couple coats. Or we could sand it down and make it distressed. Yeah, that's what I was just getting ready to say, Cynthia, is that you can do that. You can definitely sand the sides down. Um, you can take a baby wipe as well and wipe them all down. Um, see how there's a little bit of soot there? Um, that's natural on all the pieces. But if I leave them bare, then sometimes there's a little bit of paint that gets on the edge. And so I will use this to get the paint off and it's going to wipe some soot off as well. All right, we're going to glue this one on and then this is where your B actually it sits on the back of that frame, okay? So for the B, you need to put all the frames on and then you'll have your wings setting on the lap on the back frame. You like the teal frame? I think I love it. I'm glad you like it. Definitely me. Definitely, definitely me. This bee is going to be precious. I can't wait to put his eyes on. Put his, oop, 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 don't get on my glasses. See, I didn't make my glue go all the way up to the top. I stopped about here because you don't want to see it on the front side. Y'all ready to see this? We're going to put the bee together and he's going to be so cute. Look at that. There's a tiny bit of glue that you can see that came out there. But so that's why just be careful. I mean, you're not going to probably be able to see it. Let's actually remove as much as we can. There you go. Now you can't see it at all. Oh, you guys, I think I'm in love. Oh, my goodness. We don't even have his eyes on yet. Let's figure out. We're going to put his eyes down low a little bit, and then we're going to... You might want tweezers for these. Yeah, we're going to put the eyes about down here, okay? Because we're going to put our antennas. Kind of in the middle, or just below the middle is what I would do just below the middle. Look how precious that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now when you're setting this down, you can see that I'm only gonna put glue on this piece and the bottom. This whole top, the top portion of the um, little antenna is going to hang off. So we don't need to put glue on that. I think there's a big truck coming by. Oh, it's our recycle bin. Aren't these precious? Oh my goodness, these are so adorable. Sorry, recycle truck will be gone here in just a minute. This is absolutely precious. Oop, wasn't stuck yet. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> I 
Why isn't that one wanting to stick? Maybe I didn't really get enough glue on this little antenna part. Sorry about the recycled truck, you guys. Real life. Look at how cute that is. Let's do the edges of our frames one more time. And then we're going to take our paint pen and embellish a little bit more. It is much easier to do all the sides. All right, he's going away. He's driving away, my friends. It's much easier. So look how different that is. See how it's much better. Um, it's much easier to do the sides when you have them all glued together. So like on the... Um, layered cross any of the pieces that are layered like this definitely put them all together and then paint the edges it's just so much easier much better if you were doing white I would recommend three coats on the edges white or yellow just a couple of the colors that are a little bit more difficult all right ladies so if you guys are in my dia in the vip group module three should be loaded it should be loaded for the journey to self-discovery module three we talked about um healthy boundaries how many of us struggle with healthy boundaries healthy boundaries and personal rules anybody struggle with that i'm thinking we need another top coat on this top one you see we that is loaded if you're inside the vip group and if you're not you guys can whenever you join the vip group you will have access to all the past trainings that we've done so I'm super, super excited. I love you, Cindy. I'm so glad you like them. And I think we are gonna do our signature technique around the edge in white. I agree. I think that would make it, oops. I got paint boogers again. I agree. I think that would make it really, really cute. <laughs> it is loaded now, Maureen. She said she's in all the groups. We have a lot of fun in all the groups. They're all so very different. We have the subscription box. We have the napkin club. And then we have our VIP group. The VIP group gets lots of good stuff. Okay, see? So I could do a third coat on the edges if I wanted. I'm not going to. Um, so stinking adorable. Well, let's not turn that upside down. Let's do our signature edge. Um, let's get a little bit more white paint. That's kind of gooky gooky. Have you guys listened to module one or module two yet? Marilyn and Maureen, have you? If you haven't, you need to. Definitely want to hear all the feedback um, because that's how, that's the only way that I can make things better for you guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And I'm putting a pretty hefty coat of my signature technique on it. I really want it to stand out. Look at that. That is so cute. Need to watch number two. Well, number three is loaded today. It was supposed to be loaded yesterday and there was some glitches.
precious. I'm so glad you were able to go back to work though, Maureen. That's a blessing. You know what though? You can catch the replays anytime. Taking a bath and relaxing with some me time. Pop in some headphones and listen. I don't know. I don't know that you want to listen to my voice. Oh, there he is again on this side of the road, you guys. He's leaving. Um, I don't know that you want to pop my voice in headphones and listen all the time, but look how cute those are. Okay, we're going to do a couple more things to it, though. <clears throat> Let's add, and I should have done this before I did this so that I don't lay my hand in it. We're going to add a little bit of just fun little embellishment attachments. You guys know I love to do the squiggly line thing. Cute. Let's do two, three, four. We won't do the... I think we'll do some black, too, on his <clears throat> face and on his wings. Um, I don't know that we need to do anything to this, but let's go ahead and do... We did a little bit on the leaf. Make it look cute a little bit. We're not going to do any on the pot. But let's do, that, and now let's get our black. <coughs> oh, Maureen, isn't it crazy how, yes, I totally get it. So on that I put one dot. That's super cute. Let's do that's adorable. And let's go down this way and do it. Let's make some more over here. Let's just make some squigglies around his face. I actually just like it like that. I don't think we need another one on that side. Let's do some white on the branch. <coughs> I don't think it really needs a ton, but there you go. What do you guys think? These are fun. These are so fun. We've got a little honeybee, a beehive, and a flower. So precious. Um, once these are dry, I will get some pictures for you guys. Check them out really, really up close. Here's, if I can get my, hold on. There we go. Hold on, it's not clear. There we go. Let's move these out of the way so you don't see them in the background. Here's the beehive. And then you have it on the back as well. Here's the flower pot. And you have it on the back as well. You could definitely, they do stand, see? So since there's three pieces together, they do stand. They all stand. And then we have our little bee, which is so precious, so stinking adorable. You can decorate the back if you want, but those are adorable. These are the perfect size for a tiered tray. I absolutely agree with you. I'll tell you how big they are. Oh, let me reach, reach, reach with my bum elbow. They're about four inches, okay? So definitely perfect, perfect for um, tiered trays. I love them. These are, I think, some of my favorites. Make sure you grab these from the workshop. 
or er, no, from the shop, not the workshop, and post pictures. When you guys make some of our products, I want to, I love to see the pictures. So make sure you're posting pictures um, inside the Ruffle Daisy Creative Lifestyle group. You can share them and I will feature them on my page sometimes. I'm starting to do that more and more because you guys have some amazing um, creations. And so make sure, let me, let me pop the camera back around. There we are. So make sure that you post pictures so that I can share them with everybody else. And it really, it really helps because sometimes you may not think about how you want to create it and you may not like the way I created it, but then when you see someone else, the way they created it and you're like, oh, well now that's really cute. And just different ideas. Like someone mentioned using napkins to cover the flower pot. That would be absolutely adorable. You painted this in like 4th of July themes with red, white, and blue. Um, so cute. So um, yeah, make sure you're posting and sharing your projects. So I'm going to hop off, do a, some more cutting on the laser, do some more shipping uh, before I leave to go out of town for about a day and a half. I mean, we're leaving today. We'll be back Thursday. Um, heading to Wichita to just hang out with some one-on-one -on -one time with my hubby. So I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.